Hi, this is Eric Ruderman from Northwestern University in Chicago, and I am coming to you from the ULAR meeting in Milan for Room Now. Um, it's been a very interesting meeting so far, and uh, I've been tasked with uh, looking at the abstracts relative to psoriatic arthritis. And I wanted to talk about one that we saw yesterday um, that was a bit preliminary, but I think it's going to eventually yield some interesting information. Uh, this was abstract. Uh, number 63, it was an oral presentation, um, and it looked at the use of concomitant methotrexate with biologic or targeted synthetic DMARD therapy in psoriatic arthritis. This came, comes from Germany, from the Rabbit Spa cohort, which is a, a registry of patients starting on biologics or targeted synthetics. Um, included in this analysis were about 1,200 patients, and they looked at patients who were starting on a biologic or a targeted synthetic. 69% uh, of them started this as monotherapy, um, but the rest were also receiving methotrexate. And they looked at retention rates. They looked at whether the use of methotrexate with the biologic or the targeted synthetic um, let the patient stay on the drug longer, which is essentially a surrogate for response. Um, the baseline characteristics between the two groups, who was on methotrexate and who was not on methotrexate, were quite similar. It wasn't randomized. The decision was made by the treating physician. And out to six months, roughly 62% of patients on both combination therapy or monotherapy uh, were still on therapy, um, again, with or without methotrexate, with really no difference. A um, couple of interesting things from this study. First of all, the um, duration of therapy dropped off fairly quickly. And so um, by the time they were about four years out, um, less than fewer than 20% of the patients were still on their original um, therapy. And that's been an interesting challenge in psoriatic arthritis. And I'm not quite sure why uh, retention rates aren't any longer than that. Um, but the other interesting thing was that um, there was no difference whether or not you took methotrexate. Now, the reason I think this is a bit preliminary is that this is the first time they've cut this data, and they haven't had time to look at individual drugs or individual mechanisms of action. And so I think one of the critical questions is, does the use of methotrexate uh, potentially have more benefit in patients treated with TNF inhibitors relative to an IL-17 inhibitor or to a JAK inhibitor? or within the TNF inhibitor mechanism of action, um, does it make a difference whether you're on a tanercept, a fusion um, receptor protein, or a monoclonal antibody? They're planning to look at this information next, and we'll see what they come up with. But in this fairly large series, the take-home message was that um, durability of drug therapy um, was pretty consistent whether or not patients were taking methotrexate. This is a bit different than we've seen in rheumatoid arthritis. And we've seen this before in psoriatic arthritis. So I'm looking forward to learning more from this registry to tease apart whether there may be specific drugs or specific mechanisms that might benefit from concomitant methotrexate therapy. Uh, stay tuned to Room Now for some more interesting findings from the ULAR meeting in Milan, and we'll see you next time.